The film starts while showing a tribe. They used to live in the frosty mountains and hunt the mammoths. Those mammoths had a rare visit to these mountains, and sometimes they were never come. So these tribesmen had to face the starvation, all tribesmen are worried because of this fact. There is an elder lady who is called Old Mother by the tribesmen, that Old Mother had the power to converse with spirits. We encounter a girl named Evelette. There is also a boy named Lay in the tribe who had started to take interest in Evelette. Blaya's father had also a white spear, because he was the first to hunt whenever they used to go for hunting. Blaya's father plans to set out a journey, one night, he says to his friend, I will have to go, give me your words that you will not reveal anything about this to anyone. Neither you will expose this reason why I departed, he sets out his journey, giving the white spear to his friend. Everyone had started to mock Blay after the departure of his father, because each person was thinking, that his father has escaped as being frightened. But the fact was opposite which was beyond the knowledge of anyone except his friend. Evelette and Lay feel lonely because they need the support of someone, so they are befriended, they had begun a fondness for each other with the passage of time. Many years had passed, Lay and Evelette had grown up. The mammoths enter their region once more, it is decided that Evelette will be wedded with that person who hunts first and the white spear will also be awarded to him, moreover. He will be chosen as a tribal chief. Evelette suggests Dlay, let's go from here then we will marry Dlay says, I will not flee as my father did, remember I will marry you by hunting the mammoth. All tribesmen leave to hunt mammoths, they are succeeded in entrapping a mammoth in a rope net, but that mammoth runs, freeing from the rope to an extent. But he was still caught in that rope net, all tribesmen hold that rope net, Everyone has to lose the grip of rope net because Mammoth is running speedily. It was only Blay who had still gripped the rope net. Mammoth brings Blay at the summit of the mountain while dragging. That Mammoth attacks Blay. Blay hits him a spear but it does not get any harm, and it again assaults Blay. Then Blay attacks it with one more spear, at this time, that Mammoth is killed. Meantime, all tribesmen also approach there, they are shocked that Blay alone has killed this gigantic Mammoth, Witnessing it, everyone gets excited and White Spear is awarded to Dlay. And Evelette is gifted to him according to the agreement, it is decided that the marriage of both will be held. But Dlay is distressed thinking one fact, because he had lost the grip of rope net in actuality, his hand was accidentally caught in it. So he returns the White Spear, he tells Evelette, I have not hunted that mammoth, but it was entrapped in my spear, so I have returned back that white spear. It means that he has also left Evelette, because Mammoth Hunter was the real possessor of Evelette. Evelette is angered with Dlay, due to this they are separated from each other, undoubtedly, they were in love with each other but, they were associated with the tribe traditions. Some horse riders attack their tribe at that night, and they leave with tribes males and females after imprisoning them, and Evelette was also among the captives. But Dlay and some of his fellows are survived. Dlay ensures that I will bring back all captives tribesmen and Evelette. Dlay's fellow tells, no one returns from those deadly mountains. Dlay says the attackers had also come from there. He plans to chase them, then Dlay proceeds, following the trails of horses and people of attackers tribe. There are also some of the fellows of Blay with him, but they had a perilous journey. Moreover, it was hard to return back, saving themselves and those people. But Blay and his fellows are ready to accept any adventure, because they had to bring back their people safely. They constantly spend their day and night in the journey, they reach the opposite side of the mountain where the road begins. Blay and his companions reach into a forest, where they encounter all people of their tribe and Evelette, who were being taken after being captives. Blay releases some of his tribesmen and Evelot at night, but those people again capture them who had enslaved them. One of Blay's companions is also injured by them, and they go ahead, taking Blay's tribe peoples. Blay is going while pulling his wounded companion, they feel appetite after moving at a distance. So Blay goes for hunting, but Blay got entrapped in a pit, where many animals had already been caught. There is also a gigantic and savage toothed tiger which is entrapped there, it was the toothed tiger which could talk. It starts raining there, and toothed tiger begins to drown but Blay decides to release it before it drowned to death. Blay says to that toothed tiger, I will release you on a condition, 
that you will not hunt me. Blay releases that toothed tiger, and it leaves from there without hunting him, it fulfills the condition. Blay also comes out of the pit and moves to his wounded companion, he tells Blay, I have heard screaming here last night. And they both move to that route where the shouting had been heard, going there, they come to know that some had raided on a village. The tribesmen of the village surround them when they go there, those tribesmen are nearly to kill them, then that toothed tiger appears there who was rescued by Dlay. All tribesmen are afraid of him after witnessing a toothed tiger, that toothed tiger moves towards Dlay. Dlay says to it, I am your rescuer, have you not recognized me? That toothed tiger takes a side without harming Dlay. Those tribesmen are left shocked, seeing it, they take Dlay and his companions and welcome them hospitably. They also serve them food. Blay asks them, how do you understand our language, they tell, a man had visited here a long time ago, and that man had visited here to search out a shelter, and we learnt your language from that man, here, it's revealed, that man was not anyone else but Blay's father. Blay asks them, where is that man now, they tell, that man has been taken by the demons and our some tribesmen are also with it, it is such a place from where no one ever returned alive till today, but it is you, who will bring us there? Blay asks, why me? That tribesman tells that, a man will visit us who will talk with Toothed Tiger according to our prophecy. That man will rescue our people. Those tribesmen spread the news to nearby tribes that a man who talks with Toothed Tiger has come. One of Blay's companions says, I reveal a secret before you today. The reality is this, your father did not flee, fearing from anyone. He had gone to seek out the shelter for his tribesmen's survival, so that our men may avoid starvation, Blay asks him, why did you not reveal it to me ever before? He tells, you father had forbidden me to open this secret before anyone, because knowing this reality, all people of tribe could flee one by one, leaving that place. It is the cause that he had asked me to keep it secret. Then those tribesmen also move to the mountains along with Blay. They reach near the river and sail while boarding in the boats, but Blay and his companions could not sail because of not having boats. So they decide to cover their journey on foot. But it was hard to go for journey on foot, because it is a great desert where they have to set out for a journey. And no one was able to cross that desert before them, but Blay says courageously, we will cross this desert, we will bring back our men after releasing them. So they go ahead to their destination. Passing many days of traveling, at last they go to the opposite side of the desert, they observe that, grand pyramids are being constructed there. The purpose to enslave the people and bring them here, is to force them to construct the pyramids. That place is crowded with natives, but the numbering of their slaves is more than them, they call their chief as a god. They say about themselves that, they had flown here from the sky. Their god does not unhide his face before them, but he is always veiled, their chief only commands his subordinate. Blay and the chief of other tribes who had come here to assist Blay, they together move to the camp of the slaves. A man is brought in front of them who was blind. That man reveals to Blay that only one god has survived among three gods. Blay asks, how will he be ended? He says, God is afraid of such a man who will have a specific mark on his body. And that mark resembles the visible marks of the sky, according to prophecy, that man will rescue all tribesmen and all slaves. Blay is asked, have you any such mark on your body? Blay does not respond to it. Blay also comes to know here that, his father is no more, and those people had killed him, who have brought his tribesmen here after enslaving them. Afterwards, Blay and his companion come back to their men's. But they had come under the suspicion of some people, the fight is started among them, Blay's companion is ended during this fight. He hands over the white spear of his father to Blay before his death. Now Blay wants revenge of everyone, he wants to release everyone while rescuing them. Some people observe, there are some scars on the hand of Evolette, and these scars were same as there were visible marks on the sky. According to prophecy, that trace was found on hand of Evolette, noticing those scars, all people are scared. They bring Evolette to their god because a person having those scars will release the slaves, rescuing them. Those natives tell their god, there is also a hunter who is coming here after her. Next morning, Blay and his companions are disguised in labors to go to their people. 
Blaes men announce the war, there are also mammoths who begin to run to and fro, and the great disturbance is started there. Their god commands, take Evelet outside, and kill Evelet if labors does not stop. Evelet is brought outside, and Vlay and his men stop battling after seeing Evelet. Then their god approaches there, one of the men of God says to everyone, anyone can take this girl from here for forever who is willing, and we give our words that we will not stop him at this time. Blade declares, I take Evelet with me, but what will be the matter with my other companions? Their God says, they are our men and slaves from now, so Blade disagrees to carry it out, he throws that white spear towards God, and white spear pierces God, Blade says to everyone, look at him, he was just a human like us, he also feels pain, now look he is dead. Then a battle is begun between both tribes, and Blaeus men are triumphed in this war. But one of that tribe's men who had brought them here as captives, shoots an arrow to Evolette. Consequently, she has died, Blay revenges to that man by killing him, Blay had come here to rescue his tribe people and all of others, but he lost his dearest ones during this time. Old Mother who is transmitting her powers to them while observing at a distance, here Old Mother brings Evelette's life back, by sacrificing herself. Evelette is revived, and the people of another tribe who had offered them shelter, they present some seeds to Dlay. They tell, it was the wish of your father, that you may take these seeds to your place and grow them there. Dlay acts upon it, going to his location, he sows these seeds, and the plants begin to grow from them. I hope that you liked the video, thanks for watching and have a nice day.